let's talk attenuators. Uh, attenuators come in different sizes, different connectors. Some have little fins on them, some are teeny tiny. So, uh, so you just got yourself a tiny SA and you want to hook up your radio and you want to look at the spectral content of your radio. Do not do that. <laughs> you will blow up your tiny SA, okay? Do not connect these two together. Um, you must use an attenuator. So let me show you attenuators and show you the right one to use. So you do not destroy your tiny SA or any other spectrum analyzer. Do never, never hook up a radio to a spectrum analyzer. Um, it must have the proper attenuator in it. Otherwise you will destroy it. Now you're destroying a $50 thing. In the past, you used to destroy $50,000 things. So <laughs> it's a little bit better, but you still don't want to do it. All right, so attenuators. So there's two things you need to know about attenuators. Well, maybe three. So the connector, we'll start out with a connector. So you need to have the right connector. Okay, so that's the first one. The second is you need to have the right number of dB. Okay, so how many, how much attenuation does the actual attenuator have? Okay, and they're always expressed in dB. Okay, so 1 dB, 10 dB, 20 dB. Um, you need to figure out how many dB you need, okay? And we'll probably have to go through that of how many dB you need, but uh, they're always printed on here. So this one's 30 dB, this one's 20 dB, this one is 10 dB, uh, 30 dB, and this one is hard to read. So let's see here. This one is. Uh, input 3 dB. Uh, so you, you get the idea, okay? So why do some have heat sinks on them? Okay, these big fins are heat sinks. Well, um, when you attenuate the signal, you are absorbing radio waves. You're, you're, you're killing them and only sending out a little bit out the other end. So uh, a lot goes in this side and not much comes out that side. Well, that has to go somewhere and it goes in the form of heat. So uh, these things get hot if you put in power. And so these little guys, if I hook this guy up to, whoa, if I hooked, <laughs> sorry about that. If I hooked this guy, up to this attenuator, even though it's a 30 dB attenuator, this attenuator will be destroyed because it's only a two watt attenuator and my radio outputs four and a half watts. So it will destroy this attenuator. So even though it's probably the appropriate amount of attenuation I need, it'll get burned up because I put in, I put in too many watts. If you're trying to test a hundred watt, you know, radio, <laughs> these guys are going to smoke really, really quick. So you need to figure out how much, how much uh, attenuation you need and how much watts you need. Okay, so these are about two watts. These these little guys here, these are about two watts of, of uh, power. This is 15 watts. It has uh, has nice fins on it, 15 watts. And this big bruiser here, um, it's only a 3 dB attenuator, but it's good for 30 watts. So 3 dB cuts the power in half. So if I put in 30 watts on this side, I'll get 15 watts out of that side, okay? Um, so if I had a, uh, a radio like this, which is four and a half watts, you'd think, oh great, 30 watts is enough, I can use this. Well, no, you can't, because this only cuts it down by a half. So if I have four and a half watts here, I'll have over two watts on the other side of this, and that's enough to blow up your, your tiny SA. So y you really need to have, you need to have the right one, okay? So let's talk a little bit about uh, what a dB is and what a, what a dBm is. All right, so let me get a piece of paper here. Okay, so a dB is a relative measurement. So 10 dB means that you've changed the amount of uh, power by a factor of 10. But dBm, E, B, M, there'll be a small little M here, and uh, that stands for milliwatt, so dB milliwatt. So what does dB milliwatt means? Well, it means how many dB away from one milliwatt are you, okay? So if you're one milliwatt, then you're zero dBm, zero dBm, because you're zero dBs away from one milliwatt. If you're 10 milliwatts, you're plus 10. If you're 100 milliwatts, you're 
plus 20. Okay. If you're one watt, you're plus 30. All right. So plus 30 dBm equals one watt. One watt. Okay. So if the tiny SA the very, very maximum you ever want to put in this thing is zero dBm, okay? So that means that if you had one watt, you'd need at least a 30 dB attenuator, okay? At least. So if you have a 30, D, 30 dB attenuator, like this one, if you put 30 dB in this side, you get zero dB out that side, okay? It's a, it's a subtraction, right? All right. So I know that my radio has four and a half watts. 4.5 watts. So how many dBm is that? Okay, so we need to get a calculator, which I don't have with me. So let me go grab a calculator. Okay, I've got my calculator. Okay, so a dB is 10 log of the number. Okay, so 10 log of a number, that's a dB. Okay, but we're going to do B dBm, so we need to know how many milliwatts, milliwatts, and that's going to tell us how many dBm we have, dBm, okay? So if we have 4.5 watts, that's equal to 4,500 milliwatts, so 4,500 milliwatts, right? So we're going to take 4,500. And we're going to take log base 10. And then we're going to multiply that by 10. And we're going to get 36.5 dBm equals four and a half watts. Okay? So I know that I have plus. I hope you always remember to put the plus sign in there. So we have uh, plus 36 dBm. Now, if we want to run that into the tiny SA, we need at least a 36 dB attenuator. And the attenuator needs to be able to handle at least four and a half watts. So what do we have here? So we have, uh, we have this guy. This guy is good for uh, 15 watts, so he would do it, but he's only three dB. And this guy would do 30 watts, but he's only 3 dB. So we could put these together, and now we have 6 dB, but we're nowhere near. We need at least 40, 40, d, 40 dB of attenuation. So uh, we, need to, we, need to cut down, we need to cut down the amount of power. So really, it would be nice if we had a 40 dB uh, attenuator good for at least 5 watts, but I don't have one of those. Um, so I'm going to have to use, I'm going to have to use the ones that I have. Okay. So I do have a 20 watt attenuator. Okay. I mean a 20 dB attenuator, sorry. I do have a, a 20, a 20, uh, I shouldn't have written that thing there. A 20 dB attenuator. And if I then follow that with a 30 dB attenuator, okay, I'll get 50, 50 dB. So I think that's a, that'll be a good start. Okay. Now, if I have 36 plus 36 dB M and I put it through a 20 dB attenuator, I will have left over, I will have left over 16.5 dBm. Okay, so it will take my 36.5 and it will cut it to 16 plus, plus 16, 16.5 dBm. How much? How much is 16.5 dBm? Well, we can use this equation, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna divide this number by 10, and then we're gonna raise it to the 10 power, okay? So I'm gonna take 16 and a half, I'm gonna divide it by 10, and I'm gonna raise that, I'm gonna take 10 and raise that to the power, okay? And that's going to be 44 milliwatts. Okay, 44 milliwatts. 
So I'm going to have 44 milliwatts coming out of that. It's way too much for the tiny SA still. We need to get down to at least a, only one milliwatt. We start, now we have 44. We're still 44, 44 times too big. But our power is very small, so we can use our little attenuator. Okay, So the 30 dB part, we can use this attenuator. But we're going to have to find a 20 dB attenuator that can handle, uh, handle the wattage. Well, I built one of those. I'll try to make sure I link it in the description below. But I built a 250 watt attenuator. Um, and that is this one. If I can zoom out. Zoom way out. <laughs> it's very big. Okay, so this thing is heavy. And it is 250 watts of attenuation. Um, it's actually two things. It's a uh, 50 ohm load on this side. If you put things in there, it's a 50 ohm load. So it has that inside. It also has a 20 dB attenuator. And that's on this side. So these two connectors is a 20 dB, 250 watt attenuator. So we will use this. And then we will follow it up with this. And... Uh, that will be right here on the uh, on the tiny SA. So we have 30 dB going right into the tiny SA, and then we'll have to get a cable that goes between this and the tiny, and this and the radio. So let's hook that up. And we can turn it and we can see it up there for this thing. So we can see, we can see, and we take a cable, and we can see it here. Let's see what's going on, we're going to use that. Let's see what's going on. Let's get these out of the way. It's all on camera now. All right, so does this all make sense now? We have our radio. It's gonna go into the attenuator, 20 dB. It's gonna come out of the attenuator. It's gonna go into this attenuator, 30 dB. And then it's gonna go into the radio. So we have 50 dB of attenuation before it gets to the uh, tiny SA. So we can turn on the tiny SA. And uh, we can turn on the radio. And we can transmit on simplex and see if the see if the tiny SA sees something. So here we go, and there we go. We're getting a minus 15 dBm signal. So we've done a good job of attenuating. And there are some two big side lobes. So a lot of people complain about these Baofengs having a, having some side lobes, and there they are. They do show up. When you first turn it on, they're fine. And then when you hold, hold it down for a while, there they show up. Interesting. Okay, so uh, I thought I'd make a quick video, make sure that people don't blow up their tiny SA. Um, so the takeaways are figure out how many dB you have dBm, figure out how many dBm you have, figure out how to get to minus 30, or at least below zero, um, and then make sure that your that the attenuator that you choose has the wattage required, okay? And so how many dB, how many watts, um, and um, make sure you've got enough. So a lot of times a radio you put it in low power mode and say, yeah, I'm going to be safe. And then accidentally it goes into high power mode and it blows everything up. So make sure that you have enough attenuation for high power mode of whatever radio you're testing. You know, if it's a car radio, it's 30 watts, but you have it set to 5 watts. Make sure it can still handle the 30 watts just in case something happens. Um, 